Let's do some other stories. And if you use BlackBerry mobile phone device, get ready to say goodbye because the BlackBerry was still providing services for all its classic devices, notably the BlackBerry Bolt 5. My colleague Imano Samani has more in this report. BlackBerry, the company that once dominated smart mobile devices, recently announced that it was finally discontinuing key services that support its phones. Now, as of today, the phones will no longer be provided with provisioning services, meaning that they will gradually lose the ability to join networks, including the cellular network. So basically, here's what that means. If you're a BlackBerry device holder, you won't be able to make phone calls. You won't even get to make emergency phone calls that is calling 191 or any other emergency service number. And you also won't have text messaging service. So simply put, your phone is now an artifact. But how does such a powerful device of its time, boasting of some 80 million active users of its, including, if you recall, President Barack Obama, who used to use uh, the BlackBerry board? Let's get all the info from our tech expert, Kobe Spikey. When they were there, they should have innovated. They should have changed. They should have gone with the times. You know, the App Store was the evolution of smartphones. The ability for people to install apps switch apps, you know, just do things that they wanted to do anytime, anywhere. That flexibility made people appreciate different OS's, Android and iOS. And BlackBerry did not evolve in time. They're still running their same proprietary OS. The fact that people had apps on iOS and Android and they couldn't have them on BlackBerry left them wondering, what am I still doing here? He says the company's complacency is a major cause. People tout iPhones as having some of the best security. But then again, they want to buy iPhones primarily because of the camera. Security is just an added bonus. Nobody in this world goes to a store except Edward Snowden <laughs> to buy a phone because of security. So if that's your selling point, then you're going to miss out on a lot of the users. You should prioritize what people are looking for first and then throw in your security as a bonus. And that's what BlackBerry failed to do. There are some software services which rely on connections to BlackBerry servers in order to function. So if you relied on BlackBerry World or BlackBerry Link, for example, those have stopped functioning since January 4th. The number of people who are likely to be affected by this is vanishingly small. Still, it serves as a clear marker of the end of what was once a significant era of technology. Imano Samani, TB3 News, Accra.